Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to Off the Board and Follow a Sketch Friday. This is today's pin. It does call for three small photos. I am actually going to be using one four by six photo instead. I'm also using my SCT sampler kit. Of course, I'll have to uh, bring out a full sheet of 12 by 12 paper to make this background happen. Uh, so let's see what I can do. All right, guys, spoiler alert. I do not put any of the hexagons on this layout whatsoever. So if you're here for the hexagons, you probably want to turn the video off now. They're just not going to show up. Um, I did grab this Echo Park paper. It is for, from, um, for the Record or For the Record 2. I'm not exactly sure which um, For the Record collection. Um, but I am also using my SC Tamp. SCT sampler from the month of June. Um, I don't even, oh, there's my month of July one. I was like, I never even got the July one, but uh, sure enough, it's it's right there. Okay, um, so now I am just going to figure out how I want to make this layout happen uh, with the sampler kit. So I have these six by six square pieces of paper. However, that is not going to give me the size I need for this larger piece in the background. So I am going to go to my stash. I grab an eight by eight piece of paper in this light blue color. And when I originally grabbed it, I thought I was gonna use the polka dotted side, but then I thought, wow, all of the papers are in that very similar size for the decoration. Like the polka dots and the hearts were, are practically the same size. So I decided I didn't want that on my layout, I decided to go with the uh, diagonal stripe. And can you ever really go wrong with a diagonal stripe? I think not. I think not. And Lana's over here shaking her head because she knows you can't go wrong with the diagonal stripe. Now, my paper here on the background does stretch further across the page than what it is in the sketch. Um, and I think that this, this is the moment where... I unconsciously made the, or not, un, maybe, is it unconsciously or subconsciously? subconsciously? Probably subconsciously. I subconsciously made the decision to not put the hexagons on the page whatsoever. And that's okay, because when you're following a sketch, I've said it before, I've said it again, you can follow it to the T, you can take a little piece of it, you can follow a part of it, or you can look at the sketch and then just go on and do whatever the heck you're feeling like, right? Like it doesn't have to be this end-all be-all thing where the sketch is what you must do. Like there's no pressure. There's no, there's no sketch police out there going, oh my goodness, you did not follow the sketch. That is, that's not happening, right? Like it's not happening. So I decided to take that heart paper and I cut it down into um, a strip. And I'm going to be covering up that join, so I'm not really worried about it. I also trimmed my photo down to five and a half inches, and that is my secret weapon for when I'm using six by six papers. Um, of course, if your photograph is epic and you can't bear to lose that half inch of it, you're not going to do that. You're going to find a different sheet of paper than a uh, five and a half, uh, than a six by six paper. But in my case, it works out perfectly. Now I do have this glitter tape and um, I'm deciding to go ahead and put that here so I can have um, a little representation of that um, humper edge over there. I cannot, ever since I called the punch the humper punch, I cannot, it's like my brain has blocked what the real word for that is. Like, I can't think of it. What the heck is it? Like, guys, I promise I'm not stupid. I really just can't. I really just can't. I don't know. We're going with it's been a long week and I'm very tired, <laughs> okay? Um, so I am going to keep on using these 6x6 six six papers to go ahead and... Um, going to uh, go ahead and figure this out so that I can have a really awesome page, right? Like, I don't, I kind of forgot what I was saying. I got a text that 
Um, somebody was putting in their two weeks notice at work and I should have never looked at my phone because now my brain forgot what I was talking about. Um, so humper punch. Thank you, Lana. <laughs> Lana, Lana's keeping me, Lana's keeping me, uh, keeping me steady here, I guess. So now I'm just trying to figure out like what the heck I'm doing and I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to add on a little extra washi tape. And then I decide, you know what? I really don't want to add another washi tape. So I flip through the papers and then I discover that there is this yellow polka dotted uh, bit uh, here and I trim it down and I'm going to just add it to the right hand side of the hearts. And that's just gonna give it one little more extra layer of fun right here. So as you can see, because I have expanded the center of the sketch, I don't have the room for the hexagons. That's just not gonna happen. Um, and I'm just grabbing more paper after more paper and I am building up layers. So I really adore um, like just using paper to build up layers. Um, you see so much um, like color and pattern and it gives you even like this faux texture and it's just, I just love it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And the beautiful thing is you can tear it and when you tuck it under, you don't have to worry about it. Like you don't have to worry about a torn edge um, because nobody sees it. So in the sampler kit, it came with this acrylic word that says fun. Um, and then I thought I was going to add in this tag that said makers gonna make, um, but it just didn't fit anywhere. Um, it would have fit over top of all that word paper, but I didn't want to cover that up. Just didn't want to. Um, so I'm gonna use the word fun, um, and then I'm going to use that cut it out die cut. Now, see this word fun. Um, I did temporarily adhe adhere it with some ATG. However, I don't know if it's on camera or after I turn off the camera, I do pop it off and apply my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive to it just because I know that that is going to really make it stick to the page and I don't have to worry about the glue giving out and falling off. So I put on that cut it out die cut up here at the top and I put it there because in the sketch there is that bell. So there's like this Christmas kind of decoration uh, ki kind of where I ended up putting mine. So I went ahead for that and then I'm going to look for some little letters so I can spell out um, a word. So these letters look like the Paige Evans letters. Um, and I'm certain that they are. I am certain that American Crafts made these letters for, um, what is it, the Mondo Llama, I think it is. Um, it's that new craft line that's at Target. They sell a couple different um, versions of thickers um, that are just renamed with the Mondo, Mondo Mama, Mondo Llama, whatever it is, um, branding on it. And they're cheaper than thickers like I ordered them from target.com for like less than three bucks each when they were on sale so I think it was less than three bucks probably less than three bucks with my um with my red card and stuff like that um so anyway I was gonna write creative fun because this is a photo from creativation um but creative wasn't gonna fit there so I decided to just write create fun. Now I have this big old Brad sitting here on my desk and I decide, you know what, it's time to use it. So I poke a hole with my fancy pokey tool that my friend uh, Sharon gave me. And it is a fancy pokey tool, you guys, because it's got a Brad flipper outer on the other side of it. Of course, I went ahead and put some washi tape on those Brad tines so um, they're not going to scratch anything any other layouts or anything that slides in and out of the page protector. And then I decide to uh, overlap one of the flowers that came in my little sampler kit uh, over top that big old brad. And now it's just a matter of um, figuring out 
what other little extra bits I want to put in. So I have this die cut that says I love crafting. It had a big old paintbrush on it and I just figured, you know what, I'm going to tuck it up under there so you don't even see the paintbrush because, you know, nobody needs to see that. There's a big old paintbrush right here on all the word paper anyway, so it's not like... You know, I'm depriving the world, the world, I'm depriving the few people that watch this video, um, like a paintbrush. You got one right there. So nobody's, nobody's like missing out. Now I am going to uh, use one of these little Rosie Studios puffy fray stickers to overlap the floral that I've already overlapped on the brad. So I've got that going on. And then I decide to bring in these little puffy hearts. Now, I love these little tiny puffy hearts. You get them at Michael's. They're the Recollections brand. And they come in long sheets of multiple colors, like these four colors. And I just love them. Like, they're just great. Four or five colors. I don't remember. So I'm just going to go ahead and get those down. And then I am going to journal about um, creativation a little bit, about how fun it is to... Go back to the hotel room, hang out with your crafty friends, and talk about all of the new fun products that you've seen and all the ideas that you have sparking just by being around just a big creative place. And then my husband dropped off a cookie for me, which is what you see down there in the lower corner. So there it is, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining me for Follow a Sketch Friday. Be sure to join the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group. That's where the sketch will be. Um, it's also on the Follow a Sketch Friday Pinterest board. Um, but if you would like to share your creation, um, the Facebook group's where you want to be. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys again real soon for another video.